Hello, I'm Ashley. I'm going to be doing a relationship reading. I am going to be doing these every other week. So I'm calling this my bi-weekly relationship reading. <laughs> um, so I've already pulled the cards. Um, I am sensing when I was pulling the cards and just in the energy of relationships right now, I just felt like my eyes got really, really tired <clears throat> and I just felt like exhausted. So I feel like a lot of people are feeling exhausted in relationships or um, they're pushing and they just can't push anymore. There's really... They're just, I've sense like stuck. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Like I said, I've already pulled the cards. I asked four different, five different questions. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so first I'm gonna go ahead and start with, um, I asked what is going on with relationships right now? Where are we at right now? <laughs> and I pulled never ending story. Also, it's, rem it's important to remember when I do these readings and I like hold the cards up or you see the card to pay attention to the messages that you receive from yourself because that's really what's most important. I'm just like relaying the messages that I hear, but um, this is a good way to develop your intuition and just hear the messages that you need to hear because not all these messages are going to resonate for you because it is a collective reading. So there could be multiple different messages for multiple different people. So just take what resonates for you. And what I mean by that is just like what, what feels right and what do you hear? So just try to pay attention to what you're hearing from yourself, not necessarily me. <laughs> All right, so like I said, with relationships, what's going on now is never ending story. This is like replaying the same scenario over and over again, just stuck. And that's kind of what I felt. So stuck, never ending story with, when I pulled this, woman holding a coin in reverse. So to me, this is like the never ending story of, um, not seeing the value if you're a woman in yourself and if you're a man not seeing the value in women and so this is still probably because of like past wounding um from women that's why men would probably like they don't trust them or they believe um you can see that kind of going on with like men feeling that way like um in like politics right now um so just a lot of men think that women are like out to get them or like they've been hurt by them. They think they are just going to cheat on them or lie to them or manipulate them or use them or, you know, all the stuff that has been, that comes with this distort. This is like a distorted feminine. So it's not a divine feminine. This is like a woman that doesn't know her value, who doesn't know her worth, who doesn't know how to respect herself, has no self-respect. And so... Um, if we have like past wounding or if we have like mother wounding, um, a mother that wasn't very nurturing or wasn't very feminine, she was more in her masculine energy. And so she didn't know how to nurture and um, just wasn't, she wasn't in her feminine energy. So um, this can just leave this. And then when this um, energy is like distorted within you and you don't know uh, like the, the value of your feminine energy, then this reflects in relationships without. So you might attract a woman. If you don't believe women are valuable, you might attract a woman that doesn't believe that she's valuable. Or, you know, if you believe women lie, you might attract someone that lies. Or if you believe women cheat, you might attract someone that ends up cheating on you. So it's this like, it's just this never ending story of <clears throat> um, this not. And then with that, I also pulled five of cups, which to me, this says like, He's not, he's only looking at these spilled cups. He's not looking at what he has. He's not looking at like his value. He's just looking at whatever, like what's, what's spilled, but he's not looking at what are, what he already has. And so this is like being very like pessimistic. I feel, so I'm just trying to like tune in. <laughs> um, not very grateful. He's not grateful at all. So I feel like relationships right now, like we're not grateful for maybe what's in the past. And because also with that, I got <laughs> the heart of the matter. There's more going on than meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about. So I just feel like there's more going on um, than what meets the eye with relationships right now. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. And this has a lot to do with like energy. So we all have this like feminine energy within us, men and women. And it's just not knowing. And like for women, it's not, 
it is about like taking your power back, but it's also more about recognizing that your power was never taken away. It's just something you believed. And so like changing your beliefs about what it means, what your value means and where, where your value comes from. And for men too, where does your like, and what try to think of what you value in a woman or the feminine energy. What do you value about the feminine energy? And then focus on that instead of focusing on what she what she doesn't have. Um, so that's what's going on with relationships right now. It's just this never-ending story. Actually, I'm going to read this never-ending story um, card because there is a relationship message. And I want to see what that's about. 37. Like letting go, maybe? <laughs> that's what I hear right now. <laughs> Like letting go of the past, which also came up in my daily reading today. Okay, so self-criticism, the wounded ego. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Unnecessary dramas. Okay, so what's going on in relationships is people are like, the drama is real in relationships. And people are like holding on to this drama and it's really, it'll drag you down. It's not good for you. Okay, so this is the relationship message. Sometimes your heart enters into a contract with another that results in pain, not because of abuse or, of abuse or neglect, but for other more complex reasons, just like this. Get to the heart of the matter. There's more going on than what meets the eye. Um, for more complex reasons, shame, fear of intimacy, and low self-esteem are the greatest challenges to, to the success of a relationship. Consider how valuable this knowledge is, however. Right now, you have an opportunity for important healing, but you must reflect on the stories you weave about love, connection, abandonment, rejection, and loneliness. Not only do you need to begin a new story, you need to forgive yourself for telling yourself the old ones. Have compassion for the part of you that believes all those narratives. None of them were ever true anyway. That's perfect, and it goes perfect with the daily reading that I did, um, because I'm focusing more, like, on relationships and that includes like relationships with self, not just relationships with the partner, also relationships with family members. So really it's about telling yourself a new story and like forgiveness. I love that that came up and um, that we attract partners in our lives for deeper reasons than what we than what we believe in the physical. And it's mostly about our energy. If we hold a lot of like this says fear of intimacy, I feel like that's huge. And actually I'm going to read something that's on my phone. Give me a second. <laughs> I just found this yesterday and it was perfect because I feel like a lot of inner child wounding is coming up. And um, this just talks about intimacy. And I found this on, it's Cosmic Chica. Um, I follow her on Instagram. She posted this on her story from like a book that she found. But it says, the inner child is key to intimacy. Because the inner child is part of us that feels the deepest emotion, is part of us that can truly love. It's also the part of us that's, that is vulnerable, the part that can be wounded or hurt. To feel real intimacy with another person, we must be in touch with our vulnerability, with our love, even with our ability to be wounded. If we are not in touch with our inner child, we will not experience true intimacy. As we learn to be in touch with the child, to take care of and protect the child, and to express the child in appropriate ways, we can experience intimacy in a healthy, fulfilling ways in our lives. So, <clears throat> that was just like, that just really hit me. So I was like, that's super important too, because that's true. Like our inner child is our like innocence. It's our love. It's our vulnerability. And so the only way that we can have that with another person is if we're really in tune to that. And there's a lot of wounding, inner child wounding coming up. And this can really affect our relationships and like our adult relationships <clears throat> and our, our relationships with our family members, if they were the one that ones that have hurt us, we have a lot of anger. We have a, a, a lot of unresolved anger and guilt and shame. And this could come out in many different ways. <clears throat> and sometimes we tend to beat ourselves up. And that's why it's important not to like blame yourself or beat yourself up. Like things happened in your life for a reason and you're meant to learn from them. They weren't meant to take your power away. Um, we were just given our power away and the way that we give our get our power back is really to forgive and to move on and to forgive ourselves for ever lying to ourselves. It was really hard for me to forgive myself, especially because I, I like damaged my body because I had a lot of anger and guilt and shame and sadness, a lot of lower base energies. And instead of taking it out on other people, like with my words or, I mean, sometimes I did, so I had to forgive myself for that, but mostly I turned it 
into myself and I was really angry at myself and I was really sad and I used food as a way to cope with those feelings and then so I like beat my body up <clears throat> basically and so it took me a long time to like and you have to cry you have to forgive yourself you have to get it out you have to let it go so that you can tell yourself a new story you have to tell yourself a new story you have to change your beliefs about what it means to be a man or what it means to be a woman you have to let go of what you were taught and you have to get back to <laughs> your own personal beliefs and just like that like what are your beliefs around love what are your beliefs around relationships what are your beliefs around connection and what does that mean um, are you just seeking someone because you don't want to be alone? And then you have to dig deeper into that. And that comes with abandonment. That comes with like, or do you people, do you find yourself in relationships that are like you're constantly being rejected? It's because you're rejecting parts of yourself. So it's really about relationships are really just about yourself. And every relationship reflects how you feel about yourself. And every relationship that you attract, even if you attract relationships where people hurt you, where they cheat on you, where they lie, on, lie to you, where they, <clears throat> you know, betray you, it's because those are aspects within yourself that you haven't, <clears throat> excuse me, like come to terms with, or you haven't recognized about yourself. And so they're mirroring them to you. So relationships are really just mirrors. And um, to look at your relationships that this just says like, look at your relationships in a deeper way, like take some time to rest and get to the heart of the matter. Like what, what are you learning from this relationship? This is the biggest thing I think right now. Don't look at <clears throat> what like this person is, not doing for you look at what they're teaching you focus on here focus on what they're teaching you not what not on your past pain or hurt focus on i'm like this is emotions too so if you focus on the cups that are spilled you might be like <clears throat> feeling overwhelmed with emotions and only focusing on but like pop amplify your positive emotions and focus on the on the cups that you still have that are still full all right, so then I asked, um, what is going on with the masculine energy right now? So this can apply, this doesn't just apply to the masculine, also to our masculine energy within. So I pulled Y. And this is a four, four card. Yeah, three plus one is four. And that's relevant here, I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> and then I pulled anxiety with that which, and then also with that, I pulled the emperor, which this is like the embodiment of the masculine. He's very grounded. He's very assertive and creative and like powerful. And then with that, I pulled, this is why the four was stood out to me. This is consider your foundation. You are being asked to look at how you, how committed you are to love. So if you're a masculine, are you committed to love? Are you committed to a relationship? And if so, what, do you, like, are you asking yourself, like, what do you want from it? Maybe you're overthinking and this is causing a lot of anxiety or you're, you're very much in your head and remember the masculine energy when we're in our masculine energy, it's very logical, very strategic. And so we can kind of replay things in our head. And I feel like that comes up with like never ending story. So maybe the masculine is, and it's our ego. So it's, um, I feel like maybe that's why they're stuck in this anxiety is because they're maybe like rethinking they're trying to analyze everything and sometimes it's just about there's more going on than what meets the eye there's you have to get to the feelings what are you learning and so i feel like the masculine is really learning and they're at, they're starting to ask themselves more questions and they're starting to um evaluate more and um but sometimes we can overthink and then that's when we cause anxiety that's when we cause stress and um, and this, he just like, this reminds me that like, consider your foundation and he has a very, very strong foundation. That chair is made out of like cement. He's very stable. So he knows what he wants and he, he's creating it. He's the creator, but also sometimes you can get too much. Like it's really important to incorporate your feminine energy and the stillness so you don't experience this anxiety. So we can overthink when we're in our masculine energy. <clears throat> and so, but he's, I also feel the masculine is like really learning how to step into his, um, the, his masculine energy and to really become the creator and become, he's very conscious. He's very aware. He's very aware. <laughs> and so he's like the master. I don't know. And 
when I hear when I see this card, I always think um, it's like a description of he can turn a desert into like he can turn nothing into something because he's just he's a creator. So I feel like maybe he's the masculine is like or when you're in your masculine energy, you're learning to um, create and you can overthink things. But it's also about incorporating your feminine energy. So that's going on with the masculine right now. He's anxious, asking a lot of questions, <laughs> um, has a lot of fear, I feel like, right now. And so as he's learning to step into his power, but he, he's being very logical, very strategic, which is good to a certain point. But if you if you go overboard, that's when you get that's when you step into the anxiety and the in the mental health. <laughs> and so next I asked what is going on with the feminine? And this is like the opposite. So I pulled flexible. And this is just about like not being rigid. It's about kind of going with the flow, adapting to situations, not letting them overtake you and kind of, yeah, moving, going with the flow. And with that, I pulled angel of strength. So I really feel like the feminine is learning to um, recognize her strength and really step into her strength because our strength, it comes from within, especially the feminine is very, it comes from like this calmness, staying calm and like the storm, staying calm um, and like taming the ego, which would be like this emperor when you're too much, you know, taming the ego, which would be like the anxiety. And so I feel like the feminine's really learning how to like step into her strength and be adaptable and be strong in ever changing situations because life is ever changing <laughs> and we have to learn to adapt to adapt to situations. Otherwise we're going to be overtaken by like our emotions or by our thoughts. And so it's really important to find that, that balance and that, that flexibility. So then I pulled, um, two of swords, which is about making choices. And, um, I feel like this is like either making a choice to stay blinded because she's like blindfolded. She's not and like maybe stay blind into because there's just a lot of water. I feel like a lot of emotions and the moon is like, what's unknown? I feel like there's a lot that's unknown. And so she feels like there's a lot that's unknown, but she's learning to like find her strength and trying to like move and be flexible. And like, I feel like in the dark, she's just moving in the dark and she's using her senses to move through. Um, so this is like the feminine energy. She's moving and trying to adapt. And she's like still trying to move forward without without letting like the unknown like stop her but she's still blindfolded and sometimes the ego because this is the swords those swords are the representation of our mind and so this feels like a choice you could either like continue to like stay stuck where you're at and um cling and like hold on to or you can learn to like surrender and go with the flow and that comes with receive love and receive with love and appreciation Receiving with, receiving something lovingly, excuse me, <laughs> receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. So I feel like the, the feminine is really learning how to receive and how to stop over giving because um, that's huge for the feminine is, um, and I can speak for myself, like <laughs> I tend to overgive. Um, and a lot of reason that women tend to overgive is because they fear that if they don't if they stop giving, they won't receive, um, or they're like not worthy of receiving, or it's just been their job to take care of everybody else their whole entire life. So when somebody tries to like take care of them or show their love for them, it's like, whoa, this is unknown. Like, and that's kind of like what comes up. It's like, it's kind of unknown. Like, um, it's different. And so I feel like she's really learning to she, I say she, but it's not, gender does not apply. <laughs> and so she's like learning to allow herself i feel like the receiving is what's unknown and like that comes with receiving your intuition and like trusting what you're receiving and moving through it and i feel like this is taking a lot of her strength her strength i feel like it's taking a lot of strength to kind of change this habit because this also comes with never-ending story changing the habit of over habit of over giving and like allowing ourselves to receive love and allowing ourselves to receive in general. And so I feel like that's taking a lot of, a lot of like, especially with the mind, like retraining the mind and making choices to allow yourself to be open to receiving. 
So, all right, let's go on with the feminine next. <laughs> well, I asked, what is hidden to relationships right now? I pulled go the distance. Another card about strength and perseverance. And this, I feel that right now. <laughs> this is also when I was feeling like very tired when I was asking this question is what is hidden to relationships right now? I feel like people are really tired or maybe they've been like fighting or like just draining. The energy was very draining. So then I, with go the distance, I pulled attachment. So this is like, this is what's hidden to us is people are attached to other people and they're attached to situations. And that's what's causing a lot of pain. That's what's causing a lot of stress. That's what's causing is because they're so attached to how other people make them feel and they don't, they're not doing this for themselves. And so they can't, they can't surrender or let go because they're so attached to like an outcome or to somebody making them feel a certain way. And with that, I pulled 10 of pentacles, which was like abundance, like abundance to the max. <laughs> and like this, is, there's like a happy family on the card and it's more about um, getting to what you believe a happy family is or what, what, Getting to your own beliefs. Like, what do you believe love is? It's like we're learning to reevaluate what we believe love is. Is it like all the money? And is it a big giant house? And, you know, do you have lots of kids? It just it doesn't have to be that way. What do you believe love is? And then focus on that. And that brings you abundance. And um, this is just like a very happy, fulfilling card. Very fulfilling mostly material so it's mostly like financial so i feel like maybe what's hidden is money is a huge problem with relationships and money is really affecting relationships right now um and sometimes we think that money is everything and if we have a lot of money we'll have a happy family this is not the case <laughs> this is not always true and so um, i feel like this belief is kind of being shaken up and some people think that like if they had all the money or if they had this like idea of like this stable foundation if it looked good i feel like that's if it looks good then maybe it would turn out good or maybe something looked really good but then it wasn't it didn't it wasn't as good as they thought it was going to be is what i'm hearing and so um so it's about like reevaluating what you believe this abundance is what do you believe abundance in a relationship is it's just like happiness and intimacy and romance and friendship and so with that I pulled demonstrate love and this says find out what is important to the people you love and act on it so I feel like this is about um really getting to know somebody and this is about intimacy I feel um because it's find out what is important to the people you love and act on it and sometimes if we don't, like, if we fear intimacy, we don't really want to, like, go there, get to know somebody. And so then we don't know how to act on their love. Um, so that's what's hidden to us. And I also feel like we're learning to demonstrate love. And a lot of people don't know how to demonstrate love because they're too scared. Like, being vulnerable can be scary. It really can be. Um, but instead of hiding yourself away, if you hide yourself away and you're not vulnerable, then your relationship can't flourish. It can't grow into anything because you're like suppressing it you're like smashing it down sorry my nose it just <laughs> and so it's like um learning how to demonstrate love like learning to let go of attachments and um i'm gonna read this go to distance relationship message actually <clears throat> yeah there's a lot of energy Right now with relationships, I can just feel it. Like when I tap into <clears throat> the energy, it's just like, it's like wears you out almost. <laughs> okay, so endurance, strength, the long haul. Relationship message. You either are in or calling in a harmonious re relationship that can stand the test of time for better or worse as you, I love that, for better or worse. That kind of just reminds me of this card. Because it's like kind of like a marriage card to me. Um, for better or for worse. As you ride the ups and downs and even strain, break yourself and are remade in new growth, 
You are being redeemed by the power of regeneration. Harmony does not mean there will never be wrong note, a wrong note played, but that the relationship is marked by endurance and dedication to overall unity. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. <laughs> a new song can be written, an instrument can be tuned, and the symphony of love will play on. Listen with your heart. Isn't it magnificent? That was beautiful. I love that message. I'm so glad I read that. So I feel like um, what's hidden is we're learning to let go of attachment. Um, and learning how, like, this is like learning, this is like, I love all these. Letting go of attachment, learning how to demonstrate love, and like, this is what's hidden to us. So this is like the ultimate goal. So this is like, not just like family fulfillment and like success I hear, but it's also financial success. And like, this is the pentacle. So this is like, and this is the 10 of pentacles. So this is like the ultimate, like, long-term investment and that's what like a family is or a union or a relationship is a long-term investment so like relationships are kind of half-ass and people have been kind of going at relations in a half-ass kind of way but it does take endurance it does take strength because when you enter into relationship is for the long haul but a lot of people just have been getting into relationships for only because they want this and not because they want to demonstrate love or because they don't want to get to know the other person. They just feel like because they have a relationship and they have money that that means the relationship will be successful. And that's definitely not the case. It's more it's deeper than that. <laughs> like relationships are so much deeper than what we, what we believe. We're just very shallow, especially here in America. All right. So that's the, that's what's hidden to us. So I love that. It's like we're really learning to build this. We're really learning to build a strong foundation, especially as that came up. We're learning to build consider your foundation how committed to you are to you how committed are you to love i like that all right so then under the deck first i'm going to do the advice i kind of just pulled a few from um so the advice is the union of hearts there is a connection of love that defies explanation and that came with inner truths so i really love this card it's beautiful and i love trees <laughs> And this is like a union of our masculine and feminine energy. And I like that this also, this um, relationship message also talked about like the union and the, um, you're coming in a harmonious and that's what this is, harmonious. And especially with like people that are on like the twin flame journey, it's really about um, the harmony of the two energies coming together. And this is our masculine and feminine energy. So um and then that comes with inner truth. So I feel like this union of hearts <laughs> is also bringing up a lot of inner truth. Like, what do you really want? Like, just what I said about um, this card and what also was mentioned in this never-ending story, like rewriting your story. Like, what do you really believe a relationship is? Getting to, like, getting to, and like, I love that this has a little girl, a little child. And she's like walking around in the darkness with this little candle because like i also feel like inner child wounding is coming up and so this this is really affecting relationships and um if we have these like like these truths that are hidden within and we're not sharing those with our partner but that's important to share our past with our partner so they can understand us but so many people feel like shame or guilt or you know about their past that they don't share it because they think it makes them like less of a person, but it's like, that's how you really connect with the person. That's how you, because most likely that person has also experienced some kind of like wounding or, you know, whatever they've experienced self, low self-esteem. And, you know, it's about um, getting to know that person and sharing your, your past and knowing that it's part of you, but it doesn't like make you who you are. And I feel like a lot of people struggle with that. It's like they feel like they're defined by their past, but you have the right to change and you have the right to grow and evolve. And that's just so that's the advice is that allow like allow yourself to share your inner truth with this union. Be open and vulnerable. That's the only way like a relationship can grow. And then also I pulled, I feel like these cards are perfect together and the blue on them just really stands out to me. So this is back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. So this is also like, what do you want? What do you want out of a relationship? What do you believe a relationship is? And what do you believe love is? Get back to what you love. Get back to doing what you love. What do you love to do? 
And this really comes with our inner child in three, speaks to me. Just like the number of alchemy. So it's like, I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> it's like the number of alchemy, I feel like, or um, it's like taking your um, like inner wounding and turning it into like a creation. So maybe like what you love to do, maybe you like to write, I like to write, maybe you like to sing, maybe you like to paint, draw, whatever it is you like to do, dance. Um, and use, like, use, you can also heal your inner child by creating and just by being creative, by being artistic, by opening. And that really, um, being creative is our sacral chakra, which is when you've experienced a lot of, like, trauma, especially, like, sexual abuse, like, being creative will really help um, get that, like, sacral chakra moving in a, in a more functional way. And so it's about like using your past to create something and like building from it. And I feel like it's about creating financial abundance by, I feel like that's just what our generation came to do because we have a lot of people have experienced a lot of um, setbacks, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of trauma, a lot of wounding. And what we're going to do is we're going to use that to make ourselves stronger and we're going to create from it. <laughs> and that's how we get this country like flourishing. And then with that, I pulled pause. This is just time of like reflection. This is also a four card. Um, so just like consider your foundation and take time to reflect on what it is that you want. Really, really. And it's perfect. It came with this. Reevaluate what you want. It's giving you time. It's giving you a little break to kind of see what you need and what you want from this connection. All right, then under the deck was, <clears throat> excuse me, yin and reverse, which is perfect because I talked about the feminine is learning how to, this is about um, overgiving. And um, so I feel like that's, and that's perfect because also this came up, man holding a coin in reverse. I don't know. This is like both aspects, like distorted aspects. This is like the more distorted masculine. He doesn't know his value. He doesn't believe he's worthy. He has no self-esteem. Um, he tells himself like these, this never ending story. He tells himself these lies over and over again. Um, and this is like this distorted feminine. This would be like, I like that both woman holding a coin in reverse and man holding a coin in reverse game. So this would be like, yeah, over giving, <clears throat> not knowing your worth, not knowing your value. So I feel like that's like, and maybe what's going on right now collectively is just like stirring this up is um, men and women not knowing their value, not knowing their worth, not seeing their value. And then under this is, boy, I like this one too. And that one. <laughs> All right. So I pull under the deck of the tarot was, um, I think this is, sometimes I have to count. Seven, <laughs> seven of swords. So this is about like, I see this as like your masculine, your masculine, your feminine, and your inner child, and kind of like going on this journey and t trying to get to the other side. But it also might, can, it might like, um, you might have to go through a lot of emotions to get to this state. Um, and this is like, I feel like your mind can kind of get defensive and, um, I also feel like the mind is like also able to like move through the emotions more easily, especially with all three of these together. And then with that came under that was the world. So this is just like expansion and growth and um, something coming full circle, balance. All right. All right, so that's all that I have for this week. Actually, I think I am going to pull one from Journey of Love just really quick to end it <laughs> since it is relationships. And I just love, sometimes these just give a good, like, overview of the whole reading. So what do we need to know about relationships right now? What do we need to know?
All right, so I pulled the communal dance. This card's pretty. All right, I'll read that one. <clears throat> All right. Lover, you have been alone too long. Your community calls you to surrender your isolation for this moment in time and, and instead join the cosmic conga line. Do you know how special you are? So much so that this community would not be the same without you. Your individuality and uniqueness can only enhance this group of souls that calls you to dance with them. Men and women, human and spirit, heaven and earth, your community is vast and rich and has much to share with you. Be lifted in celebration of belonging. Recognize that you are a part of something great. Can your heart grow warm with recognition? You belong. You are meant to be part of this great dance of love awakening on the earth. Your heart is al already beating to the rhythm of music. This oracle brings, okay, this is another message. There was some other card that we pulled about music. Oh, it was this go the distance card. And I don't know, music really, well, music really resonates for me, like harmony and also music can be like very healing. So, and maybe music is just a message for you or is important to you. Um, this oracle brings you guidance. You are being drawn into a new community that is more aligned with your innate spiritual vibration. You'll feel, mo feel more at home there and be able to share your gifts and talents more freely with greater support. Let go of relationships or situations that you have been holding on to. Where's that card? Let go. Relationships or situations that you have been holding on to out of fear. If they are meant to continue with you, they will remain. If not, they will fall away, creating space for new connections to come into your life now. This is not a time to hide in what you have known, but to be open to playful connection with kindred spirits soon to be met. Okay, here's the poem. When I stood in front of you, I knew something was in store. I could feel the excitement of our journey ahead, for I had been there. I had been that way before. Each person comes into our life with lessons we may see, and in the reflections of what other, and a ref, and in the reflection of that other self in the person we can be. So that's perfect. <laughs> like relationships are our mirror, and um, we're at a time when like relationships are like falling away or. Like, we're just not in the same vibration as the relationships we've been in. And so they're going to fall away. And this can be, like, we can cling out of fear to these relationships and, like, to the attachments that these people have made us feel. Or we can learn to let go and to move on and connect with our soul family, which I've been saying this in, in like, other readings. is like, souls are really being drawn to each other. And that comes with the union of hearts. So this isn't just romantic. This is also, like just heart connections and soul connections and this is our soul family that people are gonna help us become the best versions of ourself and they're gonna be better mirrors for us because we, especially people have done the work and they've evolved um they're gonna be new matches so we're gonna be able to grow at a different level i feel like a lot of people have integrated lessons and they're around people that they've already have, uh, learned from their self from these people and now it's time for them to move to because especially because they've brave, raised their vibration and so it's time to move to a new location maybe um and i also pulled the journey card in my daily reading today um because i'm and i'm focusing more on relationships and it talked about like adventure journey like connecting so i just feel like that's coming up with relationships <laughs> is we're like calling out to our soul family and they're just being upgraded and like this said, um, if they are meant to continue with you, they will remain. If not, they will fall away, creating space for new connections to come into your life now. So we have to really learn to like let go of relationships that aren't serving us anymore. And that can be hard because sometimes it can be our family members. And sometimes we've just learned what we've learned from them and then it's time to let them go. And people can get really caught up in like, they're your blood, they're your family, and they'll make you feel bad. <laughs> but it's like... They'll, they'll never stop being your family, but also you have soul family out there that you're waiting to flourish with and connect in a more spiritual, more evolved way so that you can become the best version of yourself and keep working towards your dreams and your goals and like get to this and create this. So I just feel like that's all I've got for, I'll be back in two more weeks. <laughs> so like I said, I'll be doing this every other week. You can check out my Instagram. Um, for daily love messages that I do there. Um, and I'll post the, like, not the link, but I'll post, like, my username in the description below. 
And I hope that you have a wonderful day wherever you're at. And I'm sending lots of love and I hope you take care.